Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that back cracking addiction. We're here today with a special little video of a different kind of Masters box. That's right, we're going to crack open another Masters 25 box. Before we dive into that, though, I did want to mention we're teaming up again with Exotic MTG. It's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG. And we are giving away four, that's right, a set of four Arc Light Phoenixes which if you haven't been watching, the value's real, real high on that, real, real good. There's a Gleam link in the description below. Click on that to learn more and to enter to win the Arclight Phoenixes. It's running through, I believe, the end of the month, but there'll be more details in the Gleam link. Please click on that down below. Also, we're not gonna do a deck tech yet today, but some of you all commented and I wanted to share the next Commander deck tech that I'll be putting together. Nikia of the old way. So stay tuned to watch how I decide to put that together. Let's get into this, start ripping this box open. These are always easier to open, but if you're looking for ways to support the channel, do there's a few of them. The easiest one is completely free. That's being a subscriber if you're not already hitting the thumbs up button. Look at that, there's the thumbs up right there. Woo, thumbs up just popped up on you. And uh, just uh, getting our name out there. The other one is be a patron. If you're not one, join. You get access to a lot of really fun things. We open packs for you on top of opening packs for you. We also give you access to a sell list every month of really nice Magic the Gathering cards below the TCG player market rate. So that's always nice. You can save a few bucks there. And if you haven't already, check out noblenight.com. There, uh, we have a little affiliate program with them. We love them. They are a great local game shop. Please help us support them by going to their site and buying boxes like of Masters 25, which I think right now they're selling for like 145 maybe? It's a good price. Without further ado, let's get through these packs, see how many Jace the Mind Sculptors we get to open. I'm going to kind of go through the commons. I want to pull out the, well, the dollar counter spells. I'm going to make our kind of our little pile over here. These will be our expensive commons and uncommons. So there's a few of them, like Boros Charm. And then our first rare is Blue Sun Zenith. It's a nice one. And our first foil is the Iron Shaman. Used to, used to be a, a rare. It's a nice little shiny card. All right, and then of course we'll have our glorious mythic spot right in the center of the Lotus. Wow, these packs are a lot easier to open than the Ultimate Masters ones were. All right, so mainly looking for that counter spell. All right, Curse Catcher. Man, you know, it's going to be nice to be reminded of how many good uncommons are in this set. And our first rare. Oh, you guys, you know, I'm going to put this one aside. Rurik Thar absolutely belongs with Nikia. All right, Arcane Denial Foil. This is a great card. This is probably my most favorite counter spell that you could be playing, and if you're not playing, you should be playing in Commander. It is real powerful. Counter any spell for one colorless and one blue, and the downside really isn't that bad. That's right, let's check for that. Now. I think I got Relentless Rats. Ah, oh, look at those guys, those fiends. Who likes Popper? Do you like Popper? Whoop, Pernicious Deed. Oh, I already spoiled the, the foil. Pernicious Deed, another great Commander board wipe. Great reprint. And then we got Pillarly, Pillory of the Sleepless. Some cool looking artwork. Ah, oh, it's so nice to crack these packs. It's, you know, I know how much hate this set got, but man, for, a, you know, 140 or so bucks a box, I'm telling you, it's, it's just, just feels worth it to me. I don't know. Hey, Utopia Sprawl. There's a good uncommon. That aside, Lightning Bolt. There's another good uncommon. And Fortune Thief. Hey, you don't want to die. This guy helps. Helps you stay in the game. We got Mystic of the Hidden Way. Where did his face go? All right. The foiling also was really well done with this set. Like, real good. Top-notch foiling. Nice job. Wizards of the Ghost. Arcane Denial. I'm going to put that aside. Like I said, it's incredibly useful. It is a good counter spell. Curiosity. You want to combo off with that. There's another good one. And we got Hell's Caretaker. This is one of my favorites, not just for the beautiful artwork, because it really is a pretty cool image. 
It's just a really effective sack outlet that does so much for you. Ooh, and another good foil. Foil Arbor Elf. This is probably worth a couple bucks. Yeah, it looks just that foil looks really good. And a Kraken. All right. A few packs in. We're having fun. Got a card for our Nikia Commander deck already. Getting to see some beautiful foils. And oh, oh my gosh, you can't have enough of those. Ancient Stirrings was worried that this one was going to get banned, but nope, they did KCI instead. Zada. The Willbender. It's a cool card. Old school from Legions. And hey, the Plague Wind. Destroy every creature that's not your own. Wonderful. And Disenchant Foil, another cool foil. All right. Yeah, sorry, I am not rushing through this box. I really do enjoy opening any kind of Masters box, and I just don't want to dive through everything too quick. I like to take my time, appreciate how wonderful some of the cards are. Simeon Spirit Guide, another good uncommon. Look at that furry ape. Willow the Wisp, that's an old school rare. Ranker, another good uncommon. Man, this thing's chock full of good uncommons. And then we got Hana, Hannah, Ship's Navigator. This is a great one. If you bought that, uh, the Bant pre-release, the Enchantment Estra deck, pre uh, the, not pre-release, but pre-made Ordeal of Heliod. Um, if you bought that, Hannah is a good card to dump in there if you haven't swapped something out for her in the Estra deck. She's just really good at uh, giving you some recursion on your enchantments that you are inevitably playing and occasionally losing to the graveyard. Oh, the best reprint of them all. Fossil Dreadmaw. Regrowth. A good card. I'm not sure if you guys saw the Command Zone's little breakdown of this versus Eternal Witness, but I, I actually tend to agree. Ash Barons, another really good uncommon. Murder of the Crows, another really not good uncommon. And Living Death, one of my favorite new arts that they did for this set. Really cool. Ooh, we got a Mystic Snake Rare Foil. Look at that guy. The foil again is just so good with this set. Oh, I got our first foil rare. That's another pretty useful card. It's fun to have a counter spell with a body. Whoa, something fell upstairs. I'm not going to worry about it, though. Let's see what we got. Blue Elemental Blast, Humble Defector. Hey, Swords to Plowshares. Therese Nielsen artwork. And we got the Reef Worm. It's a pretty cool card. This one is one I'm putting in a... Uh, Brutaclad deck that I'll be showing off at some point. The Jackal Pup. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor, where are you? Show us the Jace. I'd also love to get some more filter lands. Hey, another Arcane Denial. Putting those aside. And hey, filter land. What did I say? We needed some of these. This is the best one in my mind, too. The blue-green, real powerful colors. We got a flooded grove. And a foil, Chandra's Outrage. Oh, there he is. There he is. Is he gonna be in here? Come on, Jace. Come on, Jace. Nope, Seb McKinnon, let's appreciate it, everybody. Dirge of Dread. Guy's an amazing artist. Everything you do. Is perfect. Brine Elemental. Mikotoro, Center of the Sea. Another fun commander card. Everybody draws. Ooh, and another good foil. Swiftfoot Boots. Another commander staple. It's a real easy way to keep that commander protected so that nobody kills it on you over and over again. If you're not playing that card in commander and you cut it because you thought you needed something else, I'm here to tell you, you're probably wrong. Unless you really don't care about your commander lasting on the battlefield. Sometimes you don't. Browbeat, another fun card. Hey, Coalition Relic. Solid little card. And a foil pyre hound. Man, look, I'm telling you guys, look at how good the foiling looks on these cards. They really did a good job with the Masters 25 foiling. Still prefer the Japanese print run of Battle Bond and... Uh, um, Ultimate Masters. Oh, cultivate. Put that aside. Another useful card for me. 
Zombify. Another the artwork on this too. Some some pretty cool new artwork. Oh, Eidolon. Oh, we got a foil call to the planet. Eidolon of the Great Revel. Another staple for your red deck wins in modern. It's a really good card. And a foil cultivate. Man, I'm pretty sure this has a solid price too, mainly because of Commander. It's Commander players enjoy an all foil deck. And there's nothing wrong with that when everything is one of. Unless you're like me and you have like 22 or 23 Commander decks. It starts to get a little expensive. Mishra's Factory. Hey, another Utopia Sprawl. Love getting these. No. Oh, all right. Spice. Chalice yeah. of the Void. Our first mythic is one of the best. Chalice of the Void. That is awesome. Let's make some room. Put that on that Lotus. And then a foil freed from the real. Another really good uncommon. There's a few ways to combo off with this card to infinity. So might swap that out. I know I have one in, I think, the Kumena deck, maybe? Swap it out for a shiny. Shiny, shiny. We need a couple more counter spells. Where are you, counter spell? Angelic Page, Grenzo Dungeon Warden. I know a few people that play this one for their commander. Not as big of a fan. Haven't seen somebody do anything too effective with it yet. Assembly Worker Foil. Keep my pile straight. I think we're about halfway through the box. Feels that way. Maybe even a little bit beyond that. So we're getting there. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, please do. It helps. Help me. Uh, Chroma's Vengeance. Man, I do remember when Onslaught was the block that was out and how good this card was. Not anymore. Ooh, foil Seb McKinnon. Let's frame it. Let's frame it, guys. Look at that. Man, this guy. I mean, you guys have to agree. This guy really is in touch with some of the most haunting artwork that we've probably seen ever in Magic. Real good. Another filter land, Rugged Prairie. Never sad to see a filter land. I'll say this too, the prices are like at a record low right now. So if you are in need of filter lands, buy now before they start creeping back up. Supernatural stamina. It's a really good way to fix mana in those enemy colors. And you know, I do honestly I do expect those things to creep back up and they'll find their way in the next year, probably back to being that twenty-ish dollars a piece. Cultivate. Phyrexian Obliterator. This is probably my most favorite mythic in the set. Uh, big Xenomorph monster who's just incredibly good. Hey, another foil rare. Two foil rares. All right. And Coalition Relic is a great one to get, too. It's just another one of those really useful cards. All right, man. Well, for Again, 140 bucks for a box. We're doing pretty good. I mean, just the uncommon slot that we've been hitting has been kind of nuts. And the, some of the foils we've gotten, real good. I, I love opening Masters 25. Hey, Swords to Plowshares. It's a dollar dollar bill. Zulaport Cutthroat, another dollar bill. And Azusa, <laughs> the best yeah, rare we could possibly open people. in the set. What is she, 20, 30 bucks? Something like that. She's expensive and she is so good. Azusa, you know, I wonder, maybe she's... Foil pacifism. She might be. She might be a good fit for the uh, Nikia, just to get mana fast. I'll have to think about it. Arcane denial. Mm -hmm. Ball lightning. A classic. Man, I remember how good this used to be back in the day. Still effective, just not as good. And then we got. More Seb McKinnon artwork. Returned Phalanx. Getting down there. Come on, Jace. Got probably going to see, hopefully we see at least one more Mythic. Most of these have three Mythics in a box. So I'd love to see that Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's been a while. Ooh, Boros Charm. Another good one. And, oh, we got another Mythic. Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight. Fun commander card for sure. Not the most valuable, but it's good. Geist of the Moors. Ooh. 
mess up my piles. Yeah, we're on the last three packs. What could we get? Oop, did I pass up a counter spell? I kind of did. Arcane Denial. And a counter spell. A couple good commons. I remember when this guy was rare. And Niv Mizzet, the original. The one that you can literally combo off with that curiosity into infinity. We're almost, as long as your deck has cards to draw anyway. Fencing Ace Foil. Oh, look at me. I'm already messing this up. Oop. Oop. Pretty sure I messed this up a couple times along the way. Yep, I did. Well, anybody out there that's watching that that really likes organized and neat piles, I failed you. Not bad. Nope. Conflux. This is one of the most powerful cards in that Jota deck. And Presence of Gond. Last pack. The last chance for Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Or Ensnaring Bridge. I'll take any of the good mythics. Just give me another mythic. Let me see one more. Getting there. Stang, Fallen Angel, Invigorate. Ah, Nickel Bolas. You troll. You monster. Ooh, one of my, I think this was the coolest looking foil in the set too. The Fathoms here. Real pretty foiled out. Okay. Well, you know what? I didn't see a Planeswalker, so I'm going to give myself another shot at it. Let's open this Ultimate Masters. Whatever you call them. Blister pack, draft pack, three packs of Ultimate Masters. Let's see if I can uh, up the value here a little bit. Get right to those rares. Elemental token, foil and dying rage, and containment priest. Solid card, nice little lockdown card. And we'll peek through the uncommons. Nope, nothing there. Well, we couldn't get Jace, but can we get Lily? Liliana, can you save us today? Can you be the lady we've been looking for? Fairy Rogue. Staunch Hearted Warrior. And, ooh, nice, Celestial Colonnade. I'll take that. The best and most powerful of the Battle Lands. Man Lands, my bad, Man Lands. Fecundity. Laboratory Maniac, there's a good one. Yeah, I know I'm messing up those piles again. Sorry. Okay, last, last, last pack. I already got a Celestial Colonnade. It's already pretty good. Zombie. Spider Umbra. And Seismic Assault. Wah, wah. Ooh, Kitchen Finks, hey. You saved a little bit. Really good uncommon. Circular Logic, really fun and common. Let's see if the best card ever is in here, though. Is it here? Oh, no wild mongrels. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Remember, check out that Gleam link in the description below if you want to enter for a chance to win those Arc Light Phoenixes. There's four of them. They're there for you. Otherwise, this is Booster Therapy. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your week.